Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. And if you remember how the last episode ended, <laughs> old Paul still crowing about the successful defense. You remember, there were some super mutants who were trying to attack. They fell miserably, but they tried. Boy, how they were trying. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at what we need to do. We need to listen to a radio frequency. Any available vault tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol BT-76. This signal will repeat. We're going to listen to it again. Authentication code word, IMPISH. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol BT-76. Okay. This signal will repeat. Oh, no, wait. We already heard Jake's. Okay. So... Let's see where Vault 88 is. Uh, yeah. Let's look at Chuckles Toy Store. That is downtown Boston. We have Green Top Nursery. At the very least, we can see what they want, where they want us to go. I have my suspicions on that. Jake wants us to go around here. Although, I don't know why that's not. Oh, well. That would start... Automatron. And, to be fair, and seeing where that is, that's... not very far away from Lexington. If we max out our relationship with... Preston... We just might do that, honestly. Diamond City. Horsepower armor. Caravan drop. That's near Jamaica Plain. So that's a ways off. It's a black lab. Not very far away from Revere. Could do that, I guess. Chinese Stealth Armor, that is the South Boston Checkpoint. That's GNN. Hubris Comics is downtown Boston. Basically the same spot as uh, Hubris Comics. Kelly Matter, yeah, you might as well be going to uh, the Nakano Mansion. Or manor, whatever. Dr. Nix is pretty close by, but there's a lot of difficult stuff there, so that would be something to wait on. We could do that, but that's a bit of a pain. And the strange calling is a little beyond us right now. Alright, I said we'd uh, be doing the crashing plane bit. That's like right over here. I'm not really concerned about that right now. So, what we're going to do, as you can see, everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. Everyone's happiness has moved up from what we've been doing, so that's good. Now it just comes down to what are we going to do next, and I think, honestly, our best bet is going to be Green Top. It's right nearby. So we're going to go to Malden Middle School, fast travel there. We're going to see what they want. As I said, I have a feeling I know what it's going to be. It's probably going to end up being kill the super mutants at uh, 
break hard banks. Actually, no, not necessarily. That ends up being a slog thing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what comes up, but already at Minuteman Quest, and this will be our last one before the castle. It's an interesting direction to go, although I guess heading east towards the castle is a is not a bad choice. I mean, I was thinking it was going to be Oberlin Station heading south towards, but that's all right should not be a problem. But getting green top after you got uh, 10 pines, it should connect once we start connecting everybody. So that really shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll see what they want. Did I pick the right ammo type? I probably something I should have looked at before we left. Mm, probably should have switched, but I think we should be okay for now. All right. If it ends up being a problem, we can bail, swap out, go get a different weapon, or. We can just try and grid it out with uh, the baton. Ooh, turpentine. Actually, right now, yes, it is. All right. Now, the good news about how this game is played so far is that we, you know, we got into Malden rather quickly, and that's a good thing. Malden can be a real pain in the ass, depending on how uh, the RNG works out. Where you can either get it really early and it'll take you forever to get there. We're going to avoid that uh, crater for now, because what's there is a death claw. And yes, yes, I know we've dealt with a death claw before. I just don't feel like dealing with one right now. Especially if I'm rocking a 10 millimeter and my ammo's a tad low. Besides, green top's right here. Green top is an interesting build. It's got some height to it. It's a really small area with a lot of it taken up by a greenhouse. But it does it can be quite useful. The You can build on top of the greenhouse. You can build on top of the house here. And there's scrap. You're with the Minutemen, right? The Minutemen are always happy to help. Oh, ferals, easy. A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby. And I can work with that. And some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering where are we out going? this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. <laughs> I already cleared that place out. You did? Oh, it's a relief. It's been hard on you <laughs> having to keep an eye over our shoulder all the time. Fellas, oh, my God. And have our gratitude and our support. Well, this is a shock and a sudden surprise. They were going to send us to the National Guard Training Yard. But since we already did it, that's hilarious. Oh my god. So we've got some clearing out to do. We're going to start doing that now. I know this isn't the most exciting thing. Well, we, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Alright, we need to get some turrets up. First things first. And we're not going to... Unlike the other, sp uh, the other spots, we're going to hold off... Actually, no, that's not true. This isn't Grey Garden. 
We may have to go back to the sanctuary to get some ASAMs. To get this place started up. And I'll need to talk to Preston. But... We need circuitry and gears. Okay. If we can find circuitry and gears, that'll at least allow us to get a couple of uh, rudimentary uh, defenses. But I will say this, between the insides here and inside the greenhouse, you can, do, you can do some things here. And that's before you start building upwards. I mean, we got a fair amount of copper out of all this just from the damn cooking pots. But gears and... Circuitry are going to be the problem. We got two people here. And right now, all we can build are... Farming plots and... Industrial plots. We do need to expand upon what we can do. Uh oh. Something's out there. A stingwing. What just happened? Okay, there goes the stingwing. That was some luck. That's not what I was expecting to run into. And there's a fair amount of fertilizer in this place. And did you know and I'm sure y'all noticed the camp station. We're storing a hoe in the workshop. There's a joke in there somewhere, I swear. But the two green tops are currently working. The mute fruit plants. If you're playing vanilla, you can get a couple of, find a few settlers, you can get them in here. And you can get a lot of mute fruit going for yourself. But this is some settlements and we're not going to do that. We're going to do things differently. First things first, we're going to demolish everything so we can try and get as much stuff as we can. And I haven't seen a damn gear or circuitry yet. I mean, that's the one downside of already uh, clearing what they wanted is that we put the goodies somewhere else. Although that Stingwing invasion did provide a bit of a diversion. Did I see something? Eh, losing my mind. Okay, so that's everything scrapped down as much as we can. I think all that's left are the mute root plants. So what we'll do is we'll take down the ones we don't need. And how do we know which ones they're using and which ones they're not? Well, if you see a red human on that requires, that means there's nobody on it. 
locked screen, that means there's somebody using it. I mean, what this place needs more than anything else is defense, and we're kind of hurting on that right now. Because the lack of circuitry and the lack of... Yeah. Well, anyway, so we're done here. So, let's talk to Preston. Hey. Okay, what am I doing? What now? We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I don't! I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minute Man HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. I'm not sure we're ready for this big of an operation. It is a risk. But the radio station will let us respond immediately when people need help, anywhere in the Commonwealth. I'd say we need it if we want to bring the whole Commonwealth under our protection. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? No, we're not ready yet. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. We've got to show people the Minutemen can really help them. Okay. Oh, Nordhagen Beach. Nordhagen Beach is down here. And looking at the... And it's a kidnapping, which means probably Raiders, which means it's probably going to be either Easy CD Downs or Revere Beach Station. That could be interesting. And it looks like we're just swinging around Boston, which is kind of funny. And for those who are wondering, the castle is down here. Okay. So... That's probably not the worst thing to do. It will actually allow us to get a dog. Now, where are we going to send the dog? We're actually going to send the dog here. But we need to build one thing in order to do that. I mean, it's not furniture. It's actually a miscellaneous decoration. All right, there's the pot of plants we got from, uh... There we are, doghouse. We are going to put the doghouse... I don't want the doghouse in the way, but I don't want the doghouse out of the way either. That is perfect. Sorry, buddy. So, we're going to go to Revere Satellite Array. And, well, now I know... Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. <laughs> Shout out to Dan Povenmire for that little bit of inspiration. <laughs> so while this loads up, it'll be, and as I said, it'll be interesting to see where this kidnapping goes. Now the thing about the kidnappings, if you don't want to deal with the hassles of, of, uh, you know, killing, uh, killing off whoever and then bringing them back. You can just pay the ransom. But this early on, we need the junk. Just no other way around it. We need the junk. It'd just be easier to do it, especially since... Ooh. All right, here's what we're going to do. I just thought of something. Since we are a settlement behind, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the kidnapping at Nordhagen Beach. For now. 
Ooh. All right. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that yet. But we do need to do something else. <sighs> you know, I think I know what we're going to do. There's a real part of me that wants to go to Cambridge Polymer. And the fact that we haven't gotten anything closer into downtown Boston yet, it's like the game's trying to avoid it. And as I said, this is part of the RNG that can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. So we're just going to try and edge closer to it while getting what crap we need. So we're going to go to Cambridge Polymer from the Cambridge Police Station. Cambridge Polymer is an unmarked quest that you kind of get. Uh, remember that I bought that was floating around about that job opportunity? Well, we're going to go hit that up. And what's going to happen is we're going to get trapped in an area with, feral, with some ferals. And, yeah, we'll stick with the 10 millimeter for now. It's not a bad weapon for ferals. And the thing about ferals is that they're pretty easy. And basically what the game wants you to do is finish this job that they've been wanting you to do. Of course, the other way to get around it, yeah, well, you'll see. I'm not sure I've done this in any of the other uh, run-throughs. It's been a little bit on some of them. But we're going to do it now. while we're waiting for this to load up and okay there's music good 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 I was starting to worry all right so we need to head south That worked pretty well. Well, that was fun. A lot of grenades getting tossed around. We got some loot. Okay, let's look at everything we got here. Okay, this one's actually a little better than what we've been rocking, although what we've been rocking is legendary. So that kind of wins right there. But... If it's better for me, that means it's better for Preston. Hey, I'm listening. Okay, he switched gear. When you just realize that. Alright, 
anything good here? Nah, that's all crap. What about this one? That's all crap, too. That's okay. Crap is also good. Crap is sellable, scrappable. Oh, a scavenger's note. We'll have to read that. One of the caravan guards said they passed by a vault -Tec office a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap left to salvage. Might be worth a look. Search for scrap in the vault -Tec office. Which is kind of funny, because that's where we're going to be going. And a settler's note. Alright, let's read the settler's note. Man, two notes, huh? Best stay away from the Nahant Chapel. Word is that synths have been seen around there. Don't know what they're after, but it can't be good. All right. So there was a big old bloody battle, and nobody survived. And this raider had junk. So all in all, just a lot of crap, but that's okay. Crap is usable. Scrappable or sellable. Better knuckles. Damage still kind of sucks compared to the baton. See? Alright. Oh, that is crap. Fine. Alright. Fraternal Post 115. That is a common area to be sent to for super mutant uh, quests. Especially on the north and west side of uh, the map. That is the CIT ruins over there, which we don't quite need to be at yet, but that's alright. Usually some decent junk around here. But not when you've got magnetic ass syndrome. TV dinner tray. We're still looking for gears and... And circuitry. And so far, no luck on, on those fronts. Okay. Okay, kitchen scale. I think that's just springs and steel. And I think here is where we ultimately need to be. There it is. Cambridge Polymer Labs. All right. So we can mark that off. And we're going to go back to Sanctuary. We need to drop off some stuff. We need to swap our weapon. So I want to make sure I have enough ammo. And need to see if Carla is there. And if she is, we need to get more, as I said, gears and circuitry. I think we still need to build more turrets for... Sanctuary anyway. Well, we still need more... We'll still need to build up more electricity uh, and water for Sanctuary. I know that place is still a little aching right now, but we also still need the stuff to build up, at the very least, as I said, the, the very, very least defenses for uh, Green Top. Should probably grab some ASAMs, build up some real housing, and use those two for some farm plots or maybe one farm plot and one industrial plot so at the very least they can get some building materials gathered up and while we're waiting on this screen to load or not ah retrieve plan thermocouplings 
Okay, let's see where this is gonna... Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Oh, crap. <laughs> it sent us to GNN. You have got... So, guess what we're not doing anytime soon? Oh, boy. Alright, yeah, green tops in a way, and... Anyway, stingwing meat, some fruits. I'm kind of wanting to hold on to this stuff here because. Oh, right, I need to swap out weapons. Okay, and there is no Carla here. Yeah, that's horrible timing for us. Okay, so we're going to drop off our weapon. Huh. Where is our never ending? There it is. I need to look at that real quick. Yes, we're gonna be playing around with the weapons a little bit, cause well we can. What'd you find, buddy? What if you're gonna go into my stash and grab something, I'm gonna be very uh upset. Yeah, dog meat, I put stuff there, you goofball. Fine, what did you take? Well, you didn't take anything, you're just like, hey, I found something in this very thing you just put something into. Dingbat. <sighs> that dog, I swear. Alright, so. go back here. We are going to need to investigate this first. Okay, it is compensated, so we don't have to worry about that. And yeah, it's just a regular compensator. We should have a sharpshooter grip. Yeah, we do. We have actually all the stock, so we don't need that. We got the best of the short of the ported barrels of the short barrels. Let me rephrase that. So the other thing we're going to really need is better uh, either a muzzle brake or a suppressor to you know lessen the recoil, and of course a better receiver, rapid automatic or powerful automatic. Heart and piercing auto. Yeah. Pa well, according to this, powerful automatic's got the best of the DPSs. And the rest of this is quite literally crap. Why don't we take out the automatic laser pistol? Let's see if we can dismantle this for now. Well, we kind of can. Long barrel's kind of useless. So we'll just use that. Feel free to see what you can do with my gun. This will allow us to take the automatic barrel and put it up. In case we get another laser pistol, uh, another laser weapon that with a prefix that allows us to use go automatic. That could be useful. A righteous authority definitely is best used as a pistol. Looking at our ammo, what are we going to take with us? Well, that remember what I said, automatics go with the divide by 10. So that's only 92 ammo. 
We have 545s. That's not bad. And... 1435 millimeters for the minigun, so that's 143. Yeah, looks like our weapon of choice is going to be our 45. So, well, we do have everything else to put up. So we're going to take our pipe revolver. We're going to tag it. see if we can do anything else with it before we move on. We're going to be going to Drumlin, sell off our crap, and see what we can buy. We need gear and circuitry for green top. What do we need here? Yeah, we need defenses here too. Gears. Okay. So gear and circuitry is still a thing. We're going to need more power. We need rubber and copper, too. So, to finish up Sanctuary, we need rubber, copper, and gears. And we're just going to get steel and plastic from these things, so we're not going to sell... We're not going to dismantle them, see? Okay, I like the receiver. That's good for now. We're gonna stick with the short light barrel. Could use a better grip. The sight is fine. I like the oh, we got a muzzle brake. That's good. So that's as good as it's gonna get for now. So to Drumlin Diner we go to sell what we can, buy what we can, try and fix sanctuary, and maybe try and fix get green top going and we're going to do green top in one rather measured step at a time and as I said first thing they absolutely must have is some defenses so we'll just stick some turrets in various places and as we expand with some uh, some settlements get more things we it, things will get better all right I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell thank you do you need anything Let's see what you have. It's all worth every cap Okay, on so let's sell all the crap. All right, well, we didn't quite break her monetarily, but that's okay. We're here for the junk. Now, we need copper. Alright, so we got all the copper we could. We got a couple of circuitry too, so that's good. And. No, we need gears. So we're going to tag this part one again. This will sort based on what we need. The microscopes are good because you get fiber optics too. Okay. And so we got gears, we got copper, and we need rubber. If I buy this shipment of rubber, we're going to be out of cash. Beyond out of cash. We can't afford it. Never mind. 
So let's look and see if there's anything else that has rubber as a non-primary. Uh, ingredient. Now I think that's it. Okay. So let's go back to Sanctuary. Let's see. What, let's do what we can. Finish getting this place up and running. Need more defense. Need more water. We get this place happy again. We can then go to Green Top. And again, set up defenses first before we start putting up ASAMs. And while we're waiting for this to load, just give you the overall general reminder. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Because that tells the YouTube algor uh, algorithms that I am worth pushing. And um, it's obvious that, you know, you're, you know, you've already subscribed. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe so you can get these videos as they come in. And because I would like to try and do this for a living. I'm not at that uh, point yet as of recording this. But I would like to at some point. So every little bit does help. And hey, Carla. Carla. Hey there. Trading? I've got a few minutes right, to browse. Let's see yeah, if yeah, she's got anything sure. useful. Oh, man. All right. So. All right, let's see what we can do first. Okay, defense is first. And we're going to look very measuredly at... Okay, we need one more. That should take care of defense. Yes, it does. Alright, now for water. Okay, we need more... We still need more rubber. There is one other thing I need to do. Um, we're going to have to get a little cute here. Uh, Sturgis. Okay, we don't need wooden steel anymore, so we're going to take off those tags. That should help us now find what we need. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Sure, let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. And that will help us tag what we need now. That's concrete, which we don't really need. We need rubber, which unfortunately is still in the way. Cloth is definitely in the way. Okay, so we need to find something that requires cloth that we have everything for, which we can untag now. I don't want to untag rubber because we. Okay, there we go, the barber chair. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. You break it, you buy it. There we go. Concrete, gear, and copper. Well, pfft. still need rubber first, so we're going to sort by inventory type. Let's go down to rubber. Remember, it's alphabetized by type. All right, the plunger is good, and well, I mean, her shipment of rubber is cheaper than Trudy's, but hopefully that is enough. So I don't want to have to buy a shipment of rubber. All 
Oh, good, it is. Just barely. That's okay. So now we're going to hook up some more water. And remember, if you're wondering why I'm having such a hard time maintaining uh, rubber, it's because it is a considered a machine part. I figured that would be more of an organic, and ceramic would be a machine part. All right, let's see what that does. Okay, it's got water up, but now we're lacking on power again. That's okay. I anticipated that. <sighs> and we need rubber. <laughs> okay. Well, instead of dealing with that, we're going to buy all of the gears and circuitry we can get our grubby little paws before we go to hey, Great Tala. Back again? Time to do business? Sure. Let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. Okay. Gears. Good. And circuitry. You know what? A shipment of 25 circuitry? That I'll do. And off to Green Top we go. So, unfortunately, this isn't going to be a very exciting episode. Once we get all this taken care of, then we will go to... Um, Cambridge Polymer. And what that will probably end up being next episode. So yeah, today it's just uh Yeah, never mind for I know what I'm doing today. For I know what I'm gonna do next time. Uh yeah, today's just gonna be settlement building, and sometimes you just need these episodes. It's kind of the thing with some settlements. I mean, what's the primary word here? Settlements. So it is what it is there, and... Alright, now... First things first, as I said before, let's get some turrets up. Oh my god. Alright, so we need 15... Defense. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use this 15 defense to cover for a side that normally never does get covered. And I'm going to put up a couple more anyway, just for, you know, kind of for prevention, because at least takes care of one side. And it's a side that normally a lot of people don't really uh, consider about. Let's dump everything in. Okay. So defense is good. Defense is really good now. For now. So we need to go back to Sanctuary again. Sorry. You figured I'd have remembered to grab them, but I didn't. We need to grab some ASAMs. We're going to actually get this place started a little bit. Now, first thing we're going to do is build a couple of uh, living quarters. Or I just might build uh, one multi. Call it there. And then... We're going to build a, a, uh, a farm-based plot inside the greenhouse. And then outside the greenhouse, we're going to build an industrial plot. At the, again, they need building materials and nobody's connected. 
So you got to do what you got to do. Do what you can. And, of course, figure it out from there. Maybe get them queued up for a third person. If I decide to send somebody there to help. Well, so while we're waiting for this, <laughs> swear it again. It's like the game knows when to shut me up. All right. So, where are the ASAMs? Got what we need. And now we head back. And we're going to try this again. So I guess this is, uh, so yeah, I guess this episode was about getting Green Top up and, up and running. Not about extending closer towards Jake. That will be the next episode with Cambridge Polymer. We could use the extra loot anyway. And we got some other things set up. I mean, we can go after Nordhagen Beach, get them into the fold, although... I'm not sure they'll be close enough to Green Top to actually be connected when that time comes up. But you never know. And we still got a doggo to rescue that's near there. It's actually near Easy City Downs, but that's another story entirely. And there we go. What just happened? A skunk. Huh? And it's aggro. And it's glowing. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, good to know the, uh, the... Good to know those turrets are doing a good job on that side. Okay. Can we move this over? No, we cannot. And we cannot scrap it either, which kind of sucks. All right. Well, that's neither here nor there right now. What's here and there... We're going to build a multi here. Hopefully they got enough junk for that. And they do. Alright. Actually, we can now scrap the other beds. Now that those are out of the way, we'll see if anybody wants. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good. All right, so while that's going, I just can't get over what happened to the Aberdeen. Isn't a daughter like that right in front of my eyes? It's just. We need power next. Okay. Ceramic and steel. What we're actually What we're actually gonna do for that is
Go to the Red Rocket. Let's loot from there. See if we have any. As try and get some steel and ceramic. Build some power. And we're gonna need a fair amount of steel and ceramic. So we can build some power up at the top and some connectors so we can get that house all lit up. And we can build an industrial uh, gathering plot interiorly in that little uh, annex there. And then once that, and then and what we'll do is we'll send one of the green tops over there, have them do their thing, and then clear out the mute fruit that, you know, can be cleared out at that point, build a farm plot, stick the other uh, green top on that, and then go from there. All right, so as I said, steel and... Ceramic, that's it. Okay, so. Plenty of ceramic. Wow, a lot of wood. Okay. Uh, all right, sort. Three, 315 steel, yeah, that'll do. They need a lot more than Red Rocket does right now. So while that loads up again... Yeah, and as you can see, sometimes... Um, settlement building could take up a hell of a video. If you remember my last Sim Settlements video, I had a few of these episodes. And that episode was just about doing uh, city plans. And they all look neat and everything, but... Not gonna lie, they were a bit of a pain in the neck. And I've got my own style of it, and as the this series goes on, you're gonna see that style evolve not evolve. Display itself. But until we do that next ep uh, quest with Jake, it's not gonna really become all that apparent. Because it requires all that expansion that we're gonna get. If you remember the last one, doing the Vault Tech run does give you a lot of extra goodies. But we're not here for that right now. All right, so first things first, we need to build a staircase. Because we need to get up there. That's a little close to the thing. Yeah, fine. It works. All right, so. First thing we need is a power generator. And we only have enough gears to build one. That's fine. That's all we really kind of need right this moment. And we're going to... Build a few uh, wired settlement flagpoles. That will get power flowing. Or at least it should throughout the different parts of the house. And you don't have to waste your precious copper in doing so. So just to make sure, we're going to go look at the... Ah yes, very good. They both have their uh, have, they both have their little pad. Gods, I can talk. Okay, so that does what we needed to do. So now next, an industrial plot internal. We're gonna swing it that way against this wall here.
Okay, as long as we can get to that, that's all that matters. We're gonna do building materials. And we are going to tag Samuel Greentop. I'll have to come back to uh, scrap that lamp. And boom. Samuel will build that. And there is power flowing to it, so that's good. Where was that? Was it here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, because I can't... Cause I'm trying to send it to the... Yeah, there we go. Steel and glass. Okay. Alright, so while that's building, we're going to look and see what he was working on and of the mute fruits and scrap it. Okay. That's perfect. So now what we're going to do, we're going to set up an interior ag plot. We're going to set it up. Right there. That's perfect. And as I said, we don't need power for ag plots, oddly enough. So now we're going to tag Samantha to build her ag plot. And we're going to scrap the rest of the mute fruits. Okay, so that's good. Now, what we can do is, if we want to get power over there, we can do that with the same things we had before. And we're going to put this one here. Climb the stairs one more time. Climb the stairs one more the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Connect this pole here to this one. I'm going to put this one here. And here's to hoping they do connect. Not quite. So we need one more. That will should get the power there. It does. And yes, it does show an, a deficit of junk, but that's okay. And there we go. We got six food, which is just fine for now. And that's all this place is really going to need for now. Oh, I, no, no, that's not true. I did say I was going to connect more to prep for uh, for an extra settler. So, first things first. Okay. Actually, uh, no. Did I go too far? I think I went too far.
All right, that's a little off. We need to pivot that. That'll do. All right, once that gets up, we're going to convert this to a multi. We got the materials, so whoever decides to roll in next, they are good to go. So we got power, we got food, we got building materials. Now for the next one. Connect that there. And this will be for organics. Oh, we don't have enough building re resources. So that will have to wait but that's okay. We have somebody who can gather building re building resources, so we're good there. And I think we are good to go for... Wait, what? Oh, do I have more junk I need to stash? Yeah. Okay. So I think we're good for now. We got this place started, and that's all it really needs was a start. We got food. We got building resources. And we're going to get somebody else queued up if that if such a situation arises. We are good to go. So we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been uh, Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Sim Settlements. Who for Fallout 4? I'll see you all next time.